Wow. Wow. Animal Crossing is 50 bucks. I did not expect or know that. That is bananas. We just predicted that, but it's actually already happened. Good people of the Mushroom Kingdom, welcome back to another epic episode of Conserve Your Coins, where I help you save a bunch of money on the Switch stuff you've been eyeing. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. We're back with another sales video because Amazon decided to go ham on the first party offerings for Prime Day, but they also put some very interesting upcoming games and awesome titles on Super Sale and then everybody else kind of copied them. So this is a great time to grab a gift for a friend or a family member for the upcoming holiday season, or maybe pick up a first party title that you've yet to play. Boop, boo, PSA, these sales are gonna go quick. Prime Day is wrapping up. I don't know if the other stores will follow suit or maybe they'll take advantage and keep the discounts for a while longer. But if you want any of the games you're seeing in this video, please go grab them before they're gone. These will be the best prices that you get until Black Friday and maybe not even then. Sometimes Nintendo is stingy. Oftentimes retailers though decide to put the entire kit and caboodle on a discount. So I expect to see these 33% discounts reappearing mid-November, but this is the best price until then and they're gonna go fast. So if you want them, get in on it, especially that AC discount, baby. But I wanna start off by telling you about some games that are coming soon that saw nice discounts. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you're picking any of these up, what you'd recommend for a gift for somebody else out there. And hit that like button if you like conserving your coin. Yeah, the Mushroom Kingdom goes wild. All the toads and toadettes out there smiling because their wallets, they be saving. Immortals Phoenix Rising is releasing on December 3rd. We previewed the game on the channel a couple weeks back and it's actually really good. It's basically Breath of the Wild 1.5 as we eagerly anticipate Breath of the Wild 2 in 2021. This is a nice holdover. And Amazon has it for 70% off, $49.94 as a pre-order, which is a pretty good deal to get 10 bucks off the game and it's not even out yet. Links in the description if you want to grab them. There's also <sighs> impressive, most impressive, but this game is not out yet. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I think it's going to be Fantastico. It's dropping sometime in 2021. It was supposed to be out this year, got pushed. It's supposed to be out this fall, got pushed now. Who knows, 2021, but I'm thinking it's going to be the first half of the year. $49.94, similar $10 discount on the pre-order. But they also have the Outer Worlds for the best price it's ever been. Half off, down to 30 bucks. And this is a great pickup. They're supposedly working on patching the game and making it perform better. And it's just a really nice beefy adventure that will carry you through the cold season. A lot of side quests, a lot of cool companion characters, and a nice big space world plus an emphasis on cool, satisfying combat. I like the game. It did not run well at the start. It seems like they're fixing that. And it's fun just to play something this massive on your tiny Switch. They've also got... Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is a first party title that doesn't often get looped into these good discounts. It's usually the Mario stuff and the Zelda stuff, but Three Houses and all of the RPG antics is down to $39.99, and that is 33% off. You're gonna wanna grab these fast though, guys and girls, because these deals are about to expire. They might end today, they might end tomorrow, they might end the next day, but you're gonna wanna move f -f -f fast because yeah, like these are really good deals and games will not be this cheap first party wise until actual like Black Friday, if they go down then and if all of them do, I don't know. Um, we've also got the Wonderful 101 Remastered for $29.83, which is a 25% discount, a cool port of a Wii U game that was redone with better visuals and a few little upgrades and additions from the folks at Platinum. Bayonetta 3 is nowhere to be found, but the Wonderful 101 can be on your console this fall. Now, GameStop is taking things uh, in a very gamestop -y direction and undercutting the $39.99 price by offering you pre-owned versions for $37.99. Now, you can get the new version for $39.99, and if you are anything like me, or honestly, a gaming fan in any capacity, it's probably worth the extra $2 to get the brand new version. So I highly recommend paying $39.99, but like, if you're just $2 short and that $2 is gonna make or break your month, they are technically giving you the best price. I will note that Animal Crossing New Horizons is not yet a part of the, hey, let's go on sale first party games. And I don't know that it will until Black Friday. I think Black Friday, someone is gonna put Animal Crossing for like 50 bucks. It's such a mega seller, it probably doesn't need a sale at all this year, but I think somebody's gonna wanna capitalize on that. 
Now, Best Buy is doing the same type of thing, save 20 on these big first party titles, but they just added Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield equation, something Amazon does not have, which is super cool. 40 bucks for the brand new Pokemon title. Well, the newest Pokemon titles. They're getting a brand new expansion in the Crown Tundra soon. If you want to get in on that, now you can grab the game for 40, the expansion for 30, and you get everything for 70 instead of how Nintendo's selling it for $90. So this is a really good deal. I'm surprised that they were able to put Sword and Shield into that $40, 33% off pile. I like that a lot. Amazon didn't do it, but they do have Splatoon 2 for 40. Sometimes the physical version is going out of stock, so you might have to grab a digital code, but some of you may prefer that. Uh, you've got Mario Odyssey, obviously, for 40. Love, love, love that game. New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, 40. I've said this before. I don't think this is a $60 package, but if you're looking for something fun to play local co-op, especially with younger players uh, or more inexperienced gamers, it's a great multiplayer time. And the single-player challenges are really taxing. They are trials and tribulations for only the toughest Mario platform players. I like them a lot. I enjoy them a lot. I think they're difficult, but in a really nice, good way. Now, Mario Tennis Aces is also 40 big ones. Love me some Mario Tennis Aces. The online community is probably pretty hardcore at this point, so I would say you need to have somebody local to play it with, or you need to just have somebody that you're going to play online with. But I would make sure that a friend has this game, unless you think you can just take your talent, your tennis talent straight to the top. Um, there is single player. They have added some more co-op challenges, but the cream of the crop here, the, the main game mode, is playing as all the fun characters online, and that community is probably pretty hardcore. Not like ARMS Hardcore, which is an even smaller player base, but pretty hardcore. They have added so much to this title over its lifespan. All free DLC, the roster has expanded into incredible ways with Kamek and Co. I love me some Mario Tennis Aces, and I really would like to see Strikers or Golf back. Maybe not baseball. They really botched the latest baseball entry, and the three-on-three -three hoops was pretty terrible. But golf or soccer... I will take those absolutely. I think 2021 will again be a year with a major Mario title, whether it's Mario Kart 9 or whether it's a sports title or maybe one of each. There's also the potential that Super Mario Party makes a repeat appearance with a sequel on Switch. In fact, I all but expect it in the next couple of years. The first one sold like gangbusters despite lackluster modes and lackluster boards and really limited online, but it's 40 bucks. Um, I think at 40, it's a fun time for the holiday season. Again, especially kind of catering towards maybe some of those newer gamers, people that don't typically play, you know, the ones that don't want to get in uh, and do a million hours of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate or the ones that don't want to put in the most hardcore design skills to pay the bills. Uh, Mario Party is still a fun time, and I do like that each character has a unique dice block. Yoshi's Crafted World is a game I have very little experience with, and that says a lot. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's clever. It's cute. I mean, it's got the whole cardboard aesthetic. It feels like it was built in your fourth grade classroom, which I appreciate. Like, look, I love cute stuff. You know how much I'm a fan of Animal Crossing, but the gameplay just, it feels a little lackluster. It's nearly impossible to die and lose, and, and maybe for some of you that doesn't bother you, but for me, I really want my games to offer some challenge or some reason to play and perform. Now, some of the other games uh, that normally see these discounts, like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, are not seeing that $20 discount. Um, shockingly, Breath of the Wild um, does not have it uh, over on Amazon. And I don't know if that's because it's out of stock or because it just never did. But if we look to GameStop and Best Buy, they are going to provide that $40 discount for Breath of the Wild. So if you are jonesing to play this game and somehow you missed it, Great opportunity before we hit the Age of Calamity and then eventually hit the uh, uh, high, uh, Black Red Breath of the Wild 2. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is down to 50 at Best Buy. So Best Buy is packing the heat this time. Oftentimes they're left kind of behind. And they say that Animal Crossing has a little discount, which I'm very curious to see. Wow. Wow. Animal Crossing is 50 bucks. I did not expect or know that. That is bananas. We just predicted that but it's actually already happened. Animal Crossing for $10 off. If you want to tell a friend, I know you already have the game, freaking loyal Switch Force awesomeness, but if you want the game for a friend and you want them to get in and be able to play with you and, and partake in this Animal Crossing awesomeness, 50 bucks, man. I don't think it gets cheaper the rest of the year. So Best Buy allowing us to expand our islands or 
don't do it, but like if any of you are crazy and want to have a second island, this is like your cheapest opportunity. Very, very nice of them to do that. AC, baby, bring us Brewster, please. Also, you've got Smash down to 50, which is again surprising. Best Buy really just bringing it. So a lot of great options here. AC and Smash and Mario Kart seeing the $10 drops. You got the big $20 drops on many other titles, including Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I really appreciate. Immortals, I think is going to be a good pickup at $10 off. Same with Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Outer Worlds for a half feels nice and so does of course Fire Emblem Three Houses and the wonderful 101 remaster but let me know what you're grabbing and where in the comments down below shout out some recommendations for gifts for friends and hit that like button if you enjoy conserving your cash here in the Mushroom Kingdom I love you guys so much I hope you're having a wonderful freaking day and uh, yeah grab these quick because they are gonna go 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 so until that time everybody have a fantastic day stay safe stay healthy stay smart out there I love you a lot and until next time members special shout out I'll see you on the upcoming streams and videos Switch Force out.